Hello everybody, my name is Carmine Remy. I'm head of artificial intelligence products at Canonical and today we have Tony Pikaday who's a director of deep learning at NVIDIA and um, we're here to talk about the DGX systems uh, which we're excited about our partnership and uh, over to you Tony. Great, thanks Carmine. It's incredible. I think the uh, success that we've seen over the last few years with our combined solution um, if I think about why we built DGX systems, we wanted to solve for three fundamental problems that many organizations face, right? Uh, they need a fast start in deep learning and machine learning. Uh, they want to be able to just start experimenting. They want a plug-in, power-up kind of user experience so they can start doing their most important work immediately. Second thing is they want effortless productivity, the ability to iterate fast, to develop even faster, to derive insights from data without a whole lot of work, right? And I guess the third thing is having access to revolutionary performance that can achieve breakthrough results. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of the DGX one. Um, this is the first purpose-built AI um, system or supercomputer, if you will, of its kind. It literally packs over one petaflops of AI training performance in a single node. What's so remarkable about it is that it incorporates a revolutionary architecture that's since been adopted by the industry, which is really the eight-way NVLink hybrid cube mesh topology. So we interconnect eight of the world's most advanced data center accelerators. The NVIDIA V100 Tensor Core GPU. Uh, so we connect them in this hybrid cube mesh topology and allows incredibly fast, low latency, ultra high bandwidth inner GPU communications so that developers can train the most sophisticated, most complex models with the largest data sets. They can expose even deeper levels of parallelism in their work and achieve record time to training. Uh, think of this as offering a hundred times the performance of a traditional CPU-based server, all packaged neatly into one node, and you can scale these up effortlessly using 100 gigabit Ethernet or InfiniBand. So you can actually build a sizable cluster like many organizations do. We call that a DGX pod. So when I think about our combined offering here, uh, what we're doing is really enabling that because Ubuntu offers a, a solution, a platform that is beloved by data scientists and developers. They have a high affinity for your environment and they're familiar with it. So we wanted to bring that together into a solution that offers them familiarity and ease of use and allows them to do their most important work with very little uplift or effort. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just in terms of our partnership, I mean, you look at both organizations, NVIDIA and Canonical, with Ubuntu um, and other uh, systems and software, I think we focused on uh, removing any friction points and making artificial intelligence, deep learning, supercomputing accessible to the widest audience possible and focusing, at least from the Canonical perspective, uh, putting open source software in the hands of as many people as possible uh, with security in mind, with performance in mind, um, with uh, ease of use in mind. And so uh, I'm personally excited about our deepening relationship uh, and I'm excited to see where we take uh, this story for scientists and uh, machine learning experts in the world. Yeah, you know, the other thing I'll just kind of close on here, and you mentioned accessibility, which is super important. Um, we're all about democratizing AI and machine learning for every developer yeah. who wants to be productive with this kind of technology. And if you look at even kind of your own message here, workstation to cloud to edge, from an NVIDIA perspective, that mirrors exactly and fits exactly with our approach to DJX systems, right? We want developers to have a fantastic out-of-the-box experience on a DJX station with Ubuntu, right? And be productive within hours, right? Plug in, power up, start experimenting and developing and creating insights, right? And then from there, basically, you know, then evolve their work to a DGX server, like a DGX1, or maybe a DGX2 if they need that level of parallelism and performance. But all along the way, they're getting a familiar operational and development environment based on Ubuntu and DGX that they already love. Yeah, perfect. So you'd say, you know, fastest time to value for just about anybody interested in this space. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.